like to start this video with a disclaimer. Climbing is an inherently dangerous sport. Any mistake can be fatal. So please use extreme caution when enjoying this fantastic um, experience. I'm here at Jackson Falls doing some top rope soloing and I just was asked by my friends to videotape it and put a little video together about it. So, okay. <laughs> um, over here is the top of the rope route and the first one I started on is one of the easiest climbs in this section of Jackson Falls. It's often used to rappel down. Um, so I have a temporary anchor with webbing. I have two. If I had had a second tree nearby, I would have used two different trees. Um, and then over here, I clipped into the webbing to fix um, a master point on the anchors um, with a figure eight on a bite and my ropes down at the bottom. I've already rappelled down and climbed up once and at the bottom of the rope is a other another rope and a water jug to keep it weighted. Alright so then this is a close-up of what I have going on on the anchor can see it's matched up nicely so I can just do a single figure eight on a bite. I have um, three locking carabiners um, just because I like redundancy. The fourth could be locking as well, I just ran out. Um, over here I have two slings attached to my harness and they're clipped in and to the tree. Down that way is the climb. I've got my ATC on, um, and I am ready to disengage from my temporary anchor. I have now repelled safely, and I'm on the ground. I'm going to take off my ATC and get ready to climb um, top rope solo. One of the things that I really like about this style of climbing, top rope soloing, is that um, you can go at your own pace, and you have all the control in your hands so if you need to stop you can stop. Um, I also you don't take long falls so for people who don't like falling on lead this is a good other option and it's a great way to work on a project so you don't have to have a belay slave um, belaying you for hours and hours. You can just get your gear set up and work that hard move. Just make sure you have a way to bail out if uh, you can't end up getting back to the top. Um, also, because you have a lot of gear with you, um, it's a good idea to kind of pick one location and stay there for the duration of your day. <laughs> so the, unless you like hiking and carrying gear around, then feel free. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be working on these three climbs next door. Um, two 510As and one 511A. Um, after I get back up to the top. This is how I have my rope anchored. I have a second rope as well as a gallon jug attached by figure eight on a bite to the bottom of my other rope. You need to weight your rope so that your ascender device can slide freely through the rope and stay up with you. So the first piece of gear I'm using is called the SOB, I guess. and. Um, you put it on the rope by opening it and sliding the rope climber um, anchor side up just like that and then you close it and double check that the picture matches and the words are straight now what's cool about this device is it'll slide up freely but then as soon as you weight the rope um, it will stop and lock and then you can slide freely. If you need to go back down, there's a little camming device. You just pull it in and slide the device down. And then if you fall, it locks. My secondary device is the Zinda, and it works exactly the same way. You open the device, insert the rope with the climber guy facing the correct direction, vertical, place it over the rope, and then close the thing. 
Um, this device is a lot heavier, so I don't like it quite as much because it won't lock and stay locked. It'll release and slide back down. That's why I'm using it as my secondary device. But it works the same way. As soon as you weight the rope from the carabiner, it will um, lock and hold you in place. Now I'm clipped in and ready to begin my climb. I'm checking to make sure that my device is in correctly, which it is, and that it locks, which it does. My secondary device is in correctly, and it locks, which it does. All of my locking carabiners are locked. I have my weight at the bottom, and my bailout rappel rope to the side. I'm ready to go. I've taken one step off the ground and sat back on my gear, made sure that it is attaching correctly. My, um, just my primary device will engage if everything goes right. My secondary device is here in case the first one fails. I set out um, quick draws on my way down just in case I felt like I needed to clip into a fixed anchor, it was already ready for me. At this point I can see my anchor and I'm just about finished my climb. Now that I've reached my anchor, I sit back on the device and get ready to clip into my temporary anchor on the tree. I have now clipped into my anchor on the tree. I want to double check that I have tightened my locking carabiners before I detach from the rope. Sometimes detaching from the rope can be tricky because um, your device may have locked all the way at the top, in which case you just have to take your weight and put it on your anchor, um, your tree anchor, and loosen the cam at the top. Go ahead and unclip from your rope. Now I'm free from the rope still attached to my tree anchor and I don't want to climb this climb anymore so I'm going to go ahead and clean my rope, clean my anchors. Um, the tricky part here is in order to get back to the top you have to weight the rope. <laughs> in order to clean the uh, anchors you have to pull the rope with the weight all the way up to the top. So it's kind of a workout. So do that first pile the rope uh, in your rope bag or um, on the ground and uh, then remove it from your anchor point. Um, if you unclip it first it might fall out of your hand and you don't want to be stuck up here without a rope. Alright, I've just about finished pulling my rope up. After I get it up over the ledge, I'm going to toss the whole thing over there. I usually coil my rope or store my rope in my rope bag end to end, but today because all I'm doing is top rope soloing, I'm going to put it in both ends together so that the middle is on the top. Alright, my rope's done. Now it's time to take myself off anchor and remove my webbing. Alright, I got my gear packed up. I've cleaned everything from the area and I'm ready to head on to the next climb. Also, I feel like I should say this is not meant to be a how-to video, but merely a commentary on what I did.